In this lesson, I'll show you how to add color to your e-card. Now, we've already selected a color palette uh, using some of the online tools that I've just shown, shown you. So if you have a color palette, great. Um, otherwise, if you're still deciding, um, just remember that some of the questions that you can ask yourself are, you know, what colors do you think would best communicate the content and emotional tone of your subject matter? Um, are there brand colors for this, for your organization that would suit this e-card? Um, in short, just look, keep looking back at your brief and use what's in your brief to make these color decisions, and, and that really will will help narrow things down quite a lot. So if you'd like to change colors in your e-card, um, I'll just show you a few tricks to do this. Um, the first is just changing the color of the background. So I've shown this to you before, but let's just run through it again. That If you want to change the color of the background here, you just hit control or right click, and then this little menu will appear. And then you'll have the background option and then all of these colors here. Though I'm actually going to work with a custom color that I've added from my color palette selection. And these colors are pulled from the Revolution Decoded website and report. And so I'll just make this a pale blue. And I'll show you how to add those custom colors in just a second. Once you've changed your background color, if you, if you want to, that is, um, you can also change the color of your text. And the way that you do that is, uh, again, really simple. So you'll just highlight your text and then select text color up at the top toolbar. And then select one of these colors here. And again, I am using the report colors, so I will color my type this this pale pink okay now if you want to change the color of a, a graphic element like one of your shapes for example you just select that and okay and so here you'll go back up to the top menu and select fill and go down to any of the colors and select it. And so I've just made it this blue. And I think because that blue's relatively dark, I'll change this download the full report. I'm going to change the color of that to white so it stands out a little bit more. However, uh, there's still a this black border around the rectangle, and I don't really want that. And I'm sure you found that when you work with the, um, the shapes, there's often what we call a stroke around them, a line outlining them. And if you want to get rid of that or manipulate that, you go back up to this part of the toolbar. And right now I'm selecting line color. And since I don't want a color there, I'll just select transparent. Okay. Now, yeah, I'm pretty happy with those colors. But if I wanted to add another custom color, I can show you how to do that as well. So if you wanted to add a new color, you'd go back up to fill color up here. And then you go down to custom and so here you would enter your hex value um, at like the values that you made a note of when we were working with Adobe's online color application. Or you can just drag different, uh, yeah, drag all these sliders around to get a color that you want. And so once you add that color, it'll show up down here in this custom color palette. However, I don't want that, so I'll just uh, undo that and then go back to normal. Okay, so now I've selected all of my colors, and I'm just going to tidy up 
my design just a little bit more so that way it's ready to use. So I'll just make this a little bit bigger. And while I do this, um, I'll just explain why I like these colors. Now, I am using these colors from the, uh, from the Revolution Dakota report. But what I do like about this, this color palette, is that I think these, this warm pink and the, this like very approachable light blue, um, I think they help me achieve the tone that I set out in my brief. I wanted my e-card to feel like an approachable way of accessing serious information. And I think that this, this pink and this blue seems really friendly and approachable and will communicate this tone. So I'm just going to tidy this up here and nudge everything down just a little bit to make sure that it's all centered how I'd like it. Okay. And I think that's good to go. So my e-card is all finished now and it's ready to download. And I'll show you how to do that in the next lesson.